there's intent. There's intent behind what we're trying to do. Recently, I had a uh, birthday, and uh, one of the birthday presents I've got was uh, some really cool cornhole boards with my company's logos on it, and I'm uh, very thankful for that. I also got uh, this shirt. It says, Entrepreneur, someone who jumps off a cliff and builds a plane on the way down. And I tell you, that is uh, a really good description of what happens uh, every day with an entrepreneur. I was listening to a, a podcast earlier, and the question was asked, you know, would you rather go first and make mistakes and possibly make less money? Would you rather go second um, and learn from someone else's mistakes and possibly make more money? And uh, the answer really is uh, that a true bred entrepreneur is going to go first. Uh, it's going to go first more often than not. And I will tell you that as I've studied social media and as I've studied the practices of uh, other companies, I continue to find that most small businesses just are not taking advantage of this incredible phenomenon called social media. I mean, think about this for a second. Most, most of these companies you hear, Facebook, Google, Uber, LinkedIn uh, were not around two decades ago. When I was finishing high school, you know they weren't they weren't there. I remember I used to have to get invited to have a Gmail account, a Google account. To think about where industry is going, you've got to make some shifts. You've got to make some changes, and you've got to accept and adapt to the market. Here's an example of a, a business that needs to be taken advantage of and I would say that all of them do but let me just give you one example real quick and, and that is I had a, a church leader come visit me this week talking about uh, social media and their desire to uh, reach more people and I said it's very simple it's social media uh, live videos videos uh, images uh, news articles or blog links and and uh, then text are, are good ways to get people's attention. It, it creates like a, an ebb and flow to your timeline so that people stay engaged with it. But, but also, you have to have intent. I mean, you have to be absolutely intentional ab about reaching your audience, uh, about what you're posting and what you're doing every single day. That's a big reason why we're putting on this social media summit called the SM3 Summit. I mean, the whole idea is that uh, most businesses aren't taking advantage and we need people to understand the true power and to, to bring leaders and entrepreneurs from across the state here in Kinston for one day. I mean, that was, that's the whole thing is people need to learn from each other, need to learn some best practices so that they can get better at social media. Once you accept that most people are on these social platforms, then you, as a business owner, as an organizational uh, uh, a manager, as a marketing director, then you need to take advantage of it. And that's why we're trying to bring leaders into, into one place one day. It's kind of like a, a deep dive to understand some best practices and tips with regards to social media marketing. As an entrepreneur, and you, maybe you as a small business owner, we've got to take risks from time to time because We've got to move faster than our competition. We've got to move faster than government at times. And I know this is small, it's silly, but this is, a, is an example of uh, my, one of my companies taking advantage of going faster. Uh, this, this glass here uh, represents so much more than this piece of tempered glass. Uh, th this is the beginnings of uh, us having a full-fledged studio in downtown Kinston. I mean, this glass represents, this is the engineer's studio, that is where the action is, that's where the anchors are, that's where the sports show is, that's where the news show is, uh, to a talk show. So those kind of things are coming, but, but there's intent behind us building this studio or, or expanding in the studio and putting in this piece of glass. There's intent there, and so should your social media and your marketing strategy. There absolutely needs to be intent behind why you are there. Don't just create a page and do nothing with it. Either, either don't create the page in the first place 
or once you do be intentional about how you're going to approach it and that is what I want to leave with you right now is that is the reason why we're putting on this social media summit because we need people to understand how to do things like go viral how to tell your story or what or how to market to the next generation or what our local uh, uh, major brands are doing to drive people's actions and get their attention there's intent there's intent behind what we're trying to do so i hope you will join us at the social media marketing summit the sm3 summit on saturday october 5th